Hi, I'm Ben Pearson, former Channel 5 Police Interceptor, and I put it out there on social media a few weeks ago about doing some Q&As. So these are the Q&As that you have asked me, so let's get into it. Let's roll the titles. God, I love doing Q&As. I think it's fantastic. I love it when you ask me questions. The sillier, the better. I will be serious on some of them and other ones I just won't be. So let's get into it. Let's rock and roll. I do apologise for the people that I am answering these questions for. Four, if that makes sense. I did have all your names, your handles, your code signs, whatever you call yourself on social media. But because of last week, I've lost all my things, all my information. So I've just got the questions. You will know if it's your question because you answered it and it came out of your mouth. That's right. <laughs> so let's get on with the questions and answers. So number one, would I bring back national service? Yes, I would do. For anyone that leaves school and does not have a job or is not employed, going in some sort of apprenticeship scheme, have a full-time job or in a higher level of employment, I would make it mandatory for national service. So all the shitbags that are out on the streets that don't have jobs, that just want to toss it off and claim benefits would have to go national service. You would go in for two or three years, you would learn a trade and you would come out better for it. I believe it would cut down on crime, it would stop people offending, it would free up prisons, and then you'll be under the military service. So you will become a disciplined person. You will learn how to iron, wash yourself, wash your clothes and learn how to have a trade. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So would I bring back national service? Yes, I would. What a great question. Next question. How many five foot penguins do you think you could take in a fight? <laughs> It depends. Are these penguins trained in martial arts or boxing? If not, I think I could have three. I would take down the big one first with a left hook, spin heel kick to the second one, and use an arm bar on the third one. I'd take them out that way. If there were four or five foot penguins, I think I'd struggle. Ironically, I would still have a go though, but I don't think I could take more than three five foot penguins down in a go. So thank you for that question. It's a stupid question, but we like it. If you do know whether there are any five foot penguins, please let me know. I'd like to get them on my podcast or on my video. I think it'd make an awesome video. And yes, I would actually have a fight with them, only if they wanted to though, because I don't beat animals. <laughs> Before we start these questions and answers, click the bell icon, click subscribe, click follow. What's the best custody suite? Uh, probably the best custody suite I went into, went into, went, went, possibly the best custody suite I went into, um, is Harrogate. Very nice, very posh, very lovely, but it is Harrogate. Um, the worst one, what used to be um, at Bradford years ago, the Tyrrells, uh, I were a right shit all. Uh, that building's been knocked down now; it doesn't exist. Um, so yeah, that's a that that was a horrible one. But the best one is Harrogate, um, and I have been to one down in London. I can't remember where it was to pick a prisoner up, and that were lovely. That were really really nice. Um, but that were around ten years ago. Um, so I can't give you the name of that one. But if you ever want to get locked up and go to a nice cozy suite, go to Harrogate. You will be given a room with a view. Uh, it might be a view of the sky uh, and you can't get out. You'd be given a free bed uh, and you'd be given an ensuite bathroom and a meal as well. It would be a microwave lasagna or curry. It tastes like cardboard and dog shit. But then again, you'll be a criminal being locked up for an offence. So we're not bothered. Uh, get what you're given and don't mourn. <laughs> Can you listen to the radio in a pursuit? Uh, unfortunately, yes, you can do. Uh, do we listen to the radios in the police car while we're on patrol? Yes, at night time we do. Uh, in the daytime, we can't really. We can do, but we don't because you've got your normal patch radio, which you're wearing on there, which is just, say, for instance, the division you're working in, like Bradford. On the side, you'll have your AMPR radio on, giving you all AMPR hits. You're then on your car, you'll have your pursuit radio, which is either on ops or something else. So you've got three radios going at once, and then you'll have your stack on your camera, which is giving you any stolen or information that's coming out of your NPR. So you sit in a room with the TV going, the radio going, and listening to an iPod at the same time and trying to look for burglars. It's a bit hard. Um, but yeah, have I listened to it into a pursuit? Yes, I have. And this is a song I listen to. Would I listen to it again? Well, no, because it were on a playlist at the time and I felt like a bit of a dick, but it did add to the pursuit. It adds to the values of it. I felt like big king dingling. Was it safe to do so? Probably not, no. Uh, would I recommend it? No, don't do it. 
Um, but you can fire around the streets of Bradford listening to a bit of Danger Zone. I would recommend it for anyone. Uh, so, yeah, you can listen to the radio in a pursuit, but I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. Please don't do it. It's not safe, it's not big, and it's not clever. Am I going to write a fourth book because the other three were so amazing? Uh, that's the question. That's not because what I've asked. Um, yes, I probably will write a fourth book, but it won't be in the trilogy. The trilogy is now done with Handcuffed Emotions, Hotel Tango 2 3, and my brand new book, which is available on Amazon on this link now. Ding! is 1965 code 11 booking off duty uh, the fourth book that i'm on about writing is i'm speaking to an author at the moment about co-writing some sort of book about what would you do if there were a burger in your house and you accidentally killed him in a fight uh, a bit far-fetched but it's got a good plot line good storyline good beginning good ending so it's just trying to find the middle bits that i put together um, I've got no timeline for when it'll be out and if I will do it, but yeah, watch your space and that'll be my fourth book. Let's try and get another Amazon bestseller because uh, the second one, sorry, the third one didn't get to number one on Amazon. It got to number two. <laughs> Should I buy an next police car? Absolutely not. It is like Trigger's broom. It's got 10 new heads and four new handles. Every police car you think you were going to buy will say one owner, full service history. Damn right it's one owner, but it's driven by 400 separate traffic cops that thrash it from day one. It's thrashed from cold. It's been involved in a 1,000 pursuits, 900 T-packs. It's got four new engines, two new bonnets, three new wings. Uh, it's been reshelled four times. Someone's shit on back seat, pissed on back seat, probably dropped hypodermic needles down back seat. Never buy a police car unless you want to use it for a police car on some sort of police police event but yeah if you think you're going to buy a one owner police car and it's going to be looked after it's not please don't do it um anyone that has got an old police car let me know if anyone's got christine let me know uh yj 58 txw um and if anyone's got a good police car send me some photos let me know uh, and we'll see what we can do by putting it on next video so yeah don't buy next police car Sorry. Am I a chips and gravy man or a chips and curry sauce? Oof. I love questions like this, but there's only one answer. Chips and gravy. Gravy on everything. I will put gravy on roast beef, chicken. I will put gravy on my frosties. I will even put gravy on gravy if I can do. Uh, gravy goes with anything. I have gravy sandwiches. I dunk bread in gravy. I will dunk anything in gravy. I love gravy so much. Um, but yeah, chips and curry sauce, mm, it's all right. Chips and gravy, it's the future. If you've not tried it, chips and gravy all the way. I like your question and I love you a bit. <laughs> if there's a van saying, please follow this vehicle, do you follow this vehicle? Yes, we do. Uh, I can't tell you when, I can't tell you where, but yes, we do follow that vehicle. You won't see us because we'll be in an unmarked car. Uh, it doesn't mean that we follow every single vehicle. It might mean that that vehicle has got a certain load on it and that's why we are following it. It's just saying that please do follow this vehicle. So if you just see a vehicle and you see a police car behind it, we could be following that vehicle. Um, apart from that, if we're too tired, we can't be asked. <laughs> Shouldn't say that. But no, we do follow those vehicles. That's why it says, please follow these vehicles. I start the police in July. What's the best bit of advice you can give me? Um, be ready for your life to change. Just remember it is just a job uh, and enjoy it for what it is and get some sleep, get some rest because you are going to need it. But be open to change, be open to suggestion and be open to everything you're going to see. You are going to see things that aren't natural. You are going to see things that aren't normal for anyone else to see in the world and it is going to affect you so i would advise talk about what you're feeling talk about what you've seen uh, and never bottle your feelings up but yeah you'll have a good career and enjoy it and that's the best advice that i can give to you uh, and smash it out pack what advice would you give for a long lasting career uh, as i've just said uh, be open to change the, jo the job changes constantly the laws change you need to be flexible with it all you can't be stuck in the mud and say i refuse to get on board with that i refuse to get on board with this um again mental health is a massive thing so talk about what you see treat it as though it's just a job um treat it as though it's something if you want to get out of it you can do a lot of people say i can't get out because of pension or i can't get out because of this don't forget you've only got one life uh you don't want to get to big pearly white gates and see st peter and st paul and they ask if you did a good job and you think well for 30 years i did the same job because i didn't want to get out of pension uh i didn't want to do this didn't want to do that um You've got to enjoy what you do. Uh, if you enjoy it, you like it. If you like it, you'll fall in love with it. Uh, for 20 years, I loved it. Um, if I want poorly, I'll be back. I'll be doing it. I'll be smashing it. 
Um, but unfortunately, everyone's book changes, everyone's chapter changes. So yeah, enjoy the job and that's why you'll have a good last, long lasting career. Thanks for that question. I did like it. Questions and answers. I hope you like them. Don't forget, before we start these questions and answers, click the bell icon, click subscribe, click follow. If you want anything mental health wise, click on the links below. Have a look at my website now for t-shirts, merchandise, books. Get some in my book spot. They are really good if I do say so myself. Uh, for all you in OSU and firearms, unfortunately, they don't come with crayons, so you'll have to buy your own. And uh, they've got big words in them. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I'm only having a laugh with you. <laughs> and that's the questions and answers. If you like it, we'll see you next time. Tune in, big love, and yeah, stay safe.